Hey everyone, and welcome to the post-episode behind the scenes commentary. Episode one covered the first 52 miles of trail from Springer Mountain north to Indian Rock Shelter. To get to the start of the trail, I used White Blaze Shuttle Services. They were awesome, and I left a link in the video description to their Facebook page. On night one, I camped beside the Tacoa River, which is where the BMT crosses it via an iconic 270 foot long wooden swinging bridge. You probably noticed the random dog that showed up while I was pitching my tent. He actually kind of surprised me and I couldn't find his owner for a little while. Luckily for me, he kind of just settled down and chilled out by my tent. And eventually after 15 or 20 minutes, his owner showed up and the two were happily reunited. The next day I passed a self-service trail magic stand, which was really cool. And that is where I got the mountain house meal you see me eating on the last night at Indian Rock Shelter. I don't know who set up that stand, but if you ever see this video, thank you so much. It was awesome and really perked me up. Indian Rock Shelter is the only place to stay on a fairly long stretch of private land, so I ended up camping there. It was really clean and nice. I actually quite liked it, except for the fact that there are a lot of those black carpenter ants crawling around the floor of the shelter. So they crawled all over my gear. And then at night when I was trying to sleep, they were crawling up my legs. So it was really difficult for me to get a good night's sleep. But other than that, the place was great. Episode one is really just a warm up. It's about me getting into a groove and getting used to being on trail again. Trust me, there's definitely more adventures and challenges to come in episode two. If you enjoyed this video, please do take a second to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and share it with a friend. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.